I'm Elliot Jackson and we're in Maribor. This is World Cup number one and I got this crazy opportunity to do uh, what I've always wanted, which is to <laughs> show you guys that there's more to mountain biking than just holding on and <laughs> closing your eyes. Oh, oh, that was oh close. That my was so God. Close. My Lord. There's so many decisions that get made and things that the riders think about. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to be taking you around through the pits, up on the track, trying to give you a better idea of what the riders go through, what they're thinking about, and the decisions that they make. It's the morning of practice, and so we're going to go around and try to get an idea of what they're doing, how they prepare, and um, see how they fare in practice. Look, Bruni, I saw that your, your teammate Finn Isles is here way before you. Why, why was that? You know, I'm French, so I had to eat many croissants and uh, bread this morning. Yeah, I... I can't hold the French accent too long. It's too <laughs> you were doing good! It's too hard. Oh, wait, are you actually Finn? I kind yeah, of... sorry. No, I am Finn. Look, still not here. Practice is in like 25 minutes and he's... I don't know what he's doing. The first race of the season is always really interesting because in mountain biking you have such a long off-season. Um, you're just training for months and months and months and you're kind of training in a bubble so when you come to Maribor, yeah, it's, it's nerve-wracking. It's really, really nerve-wracking to be here for the first race. Oh, see Finn is... <laughs> no, he was just joking actually. He started cruising right after that. So this is the first section on the track and you can actually see the amount of decisions you have. You can either go out wide, hit it early, or go inside and hit it late. But the main point is actually the next turn. It doesn't matter how much speed you carry here. It really matters where you go over that jump at. There's Greg. So Greg went on the inside and he's gonna check and see where he needs to come over that jump at. One of the things about a World Cup is you only have a really limited amount of practice runs. It's not about getting up to speed really quick. It's about figuring out exactly where you want to go. It doesn't look like anybody's going inside. That way when you get into a race run, you don't have to think about it. Oh my lord! That is so gnarly! Alright, so we've got the Canyon team. My God. <laughs> right now, this section's pretty much perfect. I have almost as much traction as you ever have. But it's really, it's a contrast because you have this really bike parky, hard pack section um, compared to the roots and stuff like that. But when this gets wet, it'll just be ridiculous. Like <laughs> the easiest section will turn into one of the hardest sections. So uh, we're here with Sven Martin, the legendary man himself. And yeah. I, I always find it interesting that like, you know, the, the riders only do like five runs, but there's 15 Sven Martin photos out there. Um, how do you, how are you in so many places at once? Well, often there's remotes, so you get two angles, you uh -huh. get there's that shot and then you get the back shot. And uh -huh. then, so that's two right there, right? Yeah. And then you fire your remote around the corner. <laughs> And then what you want to really know <laughs> is if there's perhaps like a German Sven Martin <laughs> that's on the payroll. <laughs> These are the gaps that we all think about. <laughs> it's not always the big jumps. Uh, this one, you have this long straight afterward and you really want to hop this hole because if you go in the hole, you lose a lot of speed. But the reason you need your suspension to be good is you're never going to make it all the way over this so it's more about knowing that probably landing just a little bit further close to the pad like on the roots and just being ready for it um, because if you do that you can get a pump on the backside, another pump and you can give up a little bit um, that way you can make it over the hole and carry speed on this next section you want to save energy and that's going to save way more energy it's about really picking your points
this looks way more gnarly than I originally thought. Everyone uh, kind of stops at the rock garden, but like Greg, like the only times we've seen him is kind of off the bike looking at stuff. Uh, and so I think you'd see that that's interesting, that more uh, the top guys, like, you know how to ride, right? It's about figuring out how to ride the track. Oh yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just a helmet guy. What are you thinking? Like, why, uh, why are you stopped here? Um, I don't know. I like seeing that everyone else stopped here, so I thought that. <laughs> why everyone stopped? <laughs> just like... so, yeah, I was like, oh, people keep stopping. I'll stop. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. And I'm doing what I kind of thought. I thought that straight line would be a lot faster, but it seems a bit too like yeah, it deep does. to yeah. get it going. Yep. So it's kind of a. Uh, I don't know, it's interesting, because you, you, you got to think about it in the wet, right? Right, right. Are you, would you pick multiple lines here? No, like I try and pick one that's fast in and the dry and the wet and, and just really stick with just it. really just get yeah. it down? Yeah. Uh, well, this is my second run. It's a bit greasy. Yeah. A bit gnarly, a bit fast. Yeah. I'm not big enough to do that. <laughs> I will get swallowed up by all the <laughs> holes in the boulders, just like... <laughs> all right, well, we'll let you go. <laughs> So that, so that line looks good. Yeah, that line looks good, especially about that exit. That's what I like the exit. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And after that, you need to consider that after that breaking point over there, you can pretty much like let off the brakes yeah. up until the next section, which is yeah. you know, after the fire road. So this is the section after the rock garden. You see everyone stopped in the rock garden, but I think what you'll see a lot of the really fast riders do is pay attention to how they're exiting it because this is the speed, this is your speed. <laughs> the speed you carry in the rock garden only lasts for maybe five seconds, and this, the speed you carry out of the rock garden lasts for this whole sprint. So one of the things the riders will be concentrating on here is um, making sure they're sprinting, making sure they're breathing, getting some breath back, making sure they're loose, concentrating on what's next, thinking about like kind of going through a quick like reset, and then they'll go into the second half of the track. Oh, this is one of the biggest jumps on the track. Um, you really have to get a good pull, but uh, definitely fun. Yeah, the track is very amazing. It's really natural, so many routes, it's really crazy. But <laughs> if the rain is coming, it's yeah. a little bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of the times, the rider will use the split time to section out the track. This is a much different style of track at the bottom than it is at the top. So you can kind of, in your head, be like, okay, execute that section, catch your breath, now I'm gonna execute this last section before the finish line. Oh! <laughs> so you can see a lot of riders are jumping this. This is kind of one of the, one of the gaps that you have to do because if you roll it, um, you lose so much speed, and, and Rachel will end up doing this by final stay, actually. Um, some riders are doing like that. You really want to be close to that tree, but it's so tight. It's so incredibly tight. And you almost want to, one of those ones where you want to tag this with a little bit with your back wheel to slow you down a little bit so you can get more speed out of the turn rather than jumping in, getting on the brakes, um, and losing all your exit speed. I'm a speed dealer. <laughs> so. Oh, what's this? That's gonna be more. 50! Yeah! <laughs> Linky, can I talk to you? Yeah. <laughs> so, initial impressions? Track sick. <laughs> Just having fun out there, right? Eh? Yeah. I wanna yeah. do another time training, but. <laughs> So what's the goal for you in time training? Like, what are you trying to achieve? Have fun. Yeah.
Yeah, so like what is time training for you? Are you trying to win? Are you trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm trying to win. <laughs> I don't know, I really enjoy like day one of practice and yeah. I always feel like I get up to speed quick. So yeah, yeah. And especially the soft season, I feel fit, I feel strong by hurting my hand at all. So yeah. I know, yeah, I want to go out and do good in time training. <laughs> G man, project, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. uh, straight into the hot seat. <laughs> I like one of the things I'm super interested in is like, what is it? What is like time training mean to you? Are you trying to win? Are you trying to get like what information do you get out of it? I think it depends. You know, everyone's different. Yeah. Basics of it, it's pointless. You know, we're, we're riding the track. We're not going to be racing Sunday. Yeah. Conditions and change. The track will change. But at the same time, I find it really useful to get up to speed early yeah. and the faster you can get up to speed you're kind of a step ahead you know right, right, and I find right. if I don't do time training I'm constantly trying to catch myself up you know and I feel on the back foot a little bit but I think it's useful <laughs> I'm on that weekend, I go home now. Oh, maybe not Finn? No, Finn. <sighs> Finn got nothing. No. Finn got nothing. No, but it's, it's stupid. Time qualifying is shit. <laughs> because Why? it means everything and it means nothing. Yeah, so you're like, you're one of the dudes who's like, you're, but, you're going for it. But your head. Really, yeah. It's just slow now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucks up my head for sure. <laughs> so I'm trying to do well. Yeah. Even though I'm a little bit preservative yeah like chilling and not playing everywhere yeah I'm trying so like, to do a good one what is that like if if out of 10 are you at like a 830 yeah uh, yeah, yeah eight and a half yeah totally <laughs> half past <laughs> So this is pretty much a perfect end to a perfect day of practice. Um, everyone was having a really, really good time, as you could see. Probably the last sun we'll get. Races are on Sunday. I'm pretty sure it's gonna rain, but you can watch live on Red Bull TV. So make sure you tune in. Hopefully I gave you some valuable info. Let us know in the comments. Let me know what you wanna see. If you want me to dig into anything else, uh, love to hear your feedback and uh, look forward to it. <laughs>